Hi there, welcome back for some more Hearts of Iron 3. We're going to continue our game today as Germany. Left off last time, we were in the middle of just trying to advance as far as we can into 1939 and starting the war with uh, Czechoslovakia and Poland. So we have some IC here and upgrades that's spare that we need to get rid of. So let's just... Uh, one thing I hope they fix in Hearts of Iron 4, if they even include sliders, which I don't think they will, but... Things like this, where you reload the game and it goes down to four supplies instead of, oh, I think it's supposed to be like 20 or something like that. That's ridiculous. Just silly. Anyways, let's just forget about it for now. So, uh, everything's good, and let's uh, continue the march of progress. Increase time a little bit. Whoa, too many trades. Uh, energy, yeah, we'll take an energy trade. Fuel, 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 fuel. Okay. Uh, fuel to want. Don't want fuel. Take energy. Yugoslavia wants energy. Sure. Uh, trying to. I don't want to see these pop-ups for Switzerland aligning to Axis. So we finish all of our engineering research, our research, our theory tech, uh, mechanical engineering research, submarine engineering, aeronautic, and electronic. So let's uh, let's see what we have to switch. Mechanical, you can take off. We'll put it on. What are we? 1937. We'll put it on. I don't want to put jet engine research on. Maybe we'll do artillery research. Increase that a little bit, and the rest can stay where they are. Yeah, aeronautic can stay. Oh, submarine can come off actually. So we'll put submarine on something valuable like. Um, I don't know what. Maybe throw it on militia support weapons. That looks fine. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So, um, what I wanted to do last time that I completely forgot to do was to set up a battle plan here for um, Czechoslovakia. So, um, we're going to slow down time a little bit here and we're going to walk through a battle plan. So, that's a little bit too slow, but we'll put it on about three. Uh, I'll put four. So for battle plan for Czechoslovakia, uh, I'm thinking we're going to want to have um, one infantry. Can I make that bigger? No. So I'll have probably one infantry corps up here, one over here, and one over here with some um, I'll put another corps over there, probably just to balance it out. And then from there, we're going to have to take a panzer division. Put one, we'll set it up in there. Rotate that. Rotate that to look good. I don't know how to rotate. I've forgotten. Uh, okay, we're going to leave it there for now. It's going to look ugly, but that's fine. So we'll have a panzer division there, and we'll have a panzer division over down in here um, once we take Austria over. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to try and just... Let's get a little closer and just separate Czechoslovakia into two. So we'll send our Panzer Division this way and this way, and they'll meet up, link up in the center there, and they'll cut Czechoslovakia in two. Our infantry will move in from this way, this way, and this way, and they'll take the capital. While after our Panzers are finished there, we're gonna send them this way, and they'll just mop up and uh, finish off any Czechoslovakian resistance. And that should be good for us. Um, I think I'm gonna wait i um, not going to attack them while they have the Sudetenland, so once we get the Sudetenland from the Czechoslovakians, we will attack them. Uh, they've got a pretty good fort system right now, so we don't want to walk into that. Let's change the Strategic Air Command. Oh no, actually I want to leave it there. I got 1936 tech, so that's fine. So that's what my plan is going to be, just very briefly. Turn it off for now. Um, energy, yeah. Uh, how much energy do we have left? 12. Okay, so I don't want to trade any more energy. Uh, 12 energy is getting pretty low. I, I wouldn't mind going negative because we've got 5400 energy, but out of a maximum of 9900, 9999, so uh, for now I'm just going to leave it where it is. I want to keep getting a little bit of energy. We don't really need money. We're at plus 51.51, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how things are. What did I forget to change? Uh, upgrades. Okay, and these are infantry almost done. Uh, garrison infantry and more garrison will be done in August. Alright, so our army is coming together. 
Um, if there's anything that I should be focusing on, please let me know. If you have any tips or advice, I'm always up to hear it. Liberia wants fuel, I don't want fuel. And we just finished something. Um, wonder if you'll, oh, let's speed the time up again. Make it a little faster when we unpause the game. Infantry divisions, okay. I'm gonna put them. Mm, hold on a second. All right, I'll put them over here. And Lauben. One, two, three, just along the border there, and we'll create a new core. Call it um, XXII core. All right, 23 core, that's fine. Uh, Halder, offensive doctrine, yeah, that's fine. It was gonna be an offensive core, so that makes sense. And then we'll just set you up. Sax and Klausner, commando, I don't want him to have commando. Um, maybe I'll give him batter. Fort Buster and a logistics wizard. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, and... Okay, so I'm going to try and start massing around the Czechoslovakian border. So let's uh, go to production here and we'll build some more infantry. Well, not motorized infantry. Um, reserves. I'll build three more. We're keeping pretty on top of the upgrade situation, which is good. We'll move that guy down. Um, in fact, you know what? Um, we've got so much extra supplies right now and we don't need that many plus 29 every day I'm gonna build a close air support just gonna drop us down into the negatives a little bit but that's okay we're gonna just take it away from upgrades there we go so our upgrades are about half again 49% mm, yeah that's fine with me um, keeping upgrades below 10 is fine, even below 20 is what I like to do around 20. Because you're constantly upgrading things, so you're always going to have something to upgrade. Um, but if you can keep it low, it's it's better. just means that more of your guys are getting the resources and the equipment that they need. Alright, the garrisons. Uh, garrisons can go. Let's move 5 army car away. So we're going to set a strategic redeployment. Send them over here. Oh, give me that last one. There you go. There we go. Strategic redeployment. And we are going to. Weird, I don't see the arrow on that guy. It must be obstructed by these guys. Okay, so we're just going to put. Uh, we're going to plop down some of these garrison divisions. Maybe what we'll do is we will drop two garrison divisions here, and I'm going to attach this one to that layer core, and this one will create a new core. I'm not going to name it. I'm not going to name it. We'll be west, um, and there we go. You can touch. I'm gonna name it actually. I have to name it. Call it XIV Landwehr Core. Stupid microphone in the way. All right, there we go. Uh, Heights. That's he's too good for them. Uh, engineer. Don't want him. Uh, eh, think logistic wizard. Think fat command. They want it to be very good generals. They just have to be something that will reduce any kind of like logistic wizard is best because these guys aren't going to do very much so if they can reduce the impact they have on my supply chains it's, it's really good it's good for me so it's not a huge deal if they aren't the most adept generals in the game uh yeah so i'm gonna leave those two guys there uh, these guys are spread out a little bit and these have four okay so our thing is coming together a little bit better Eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys, uh, this core over to Rottweil. And I'm going to move, uh, stack these 
all of its garrison divisions up onto these three provinces so that there's two, two, and one. I'm going to add an extra garrison division to that core. And yeah, that'll be my southern flank along the uh, western border here. Southwestern border, I suppose. And uh, that'll hopefully ward off the French. So let's go back to production and we will build a few more of the garrisons. Uh, give them anti-tank this time. Can we put a fourth one in? Uh, no, we can't. It's too expensive. Okay. So we'll just build a... Yeah. We'll just build a uh, three more reserve, reserve divisions. Super reserve divisions. And that'll be fine. Okay. Keep everything in order here. All right. Let's go ahead. There they go, moving across. Me the air is lost, and me the air heard is down. Uh, no. No more trades. No more trades. Yeah, so. Oh, aircraft can't. Oh, good. Aircraft carrier, hangar advanced, aircraft carrier, armor advanced. Ah, oh, damn it. I just realized as those finished that I was waiting for the stuff to finish so I could build the graph speed with the extra production that I was saving in supply. That I have now sunk into building a close air support. Alright, this interceptor is going to be done August 9th. Well, you know what? All right, let's keep the um, we'll keep upgrading these things here. Get them to 1936 tech, which I think is the next one it goes to. Uh, it'll be done in January, and then in January 1938, I will start building my aircraft carrier. So that'll be fine. Just gonna I'm gonna have to decline all these. Just decline. I'm not even gonna touch them now. I'm just gonna let them go. They can just run out of time themselves. Oh, hello. Oh, stop. Stop doing what you're doing. Okay. Militia light artillery advance. That's good. Where are you? Light artillery and support weapons. Oh, I totally didn't see that was 1938 before. Alright, let's uh, upgrade. We got marine infantry being upgraded. So let's just cut back on research for now. We'll put it into... Officers are still pretty high, so we'll put it into espionage. Leave diplomacy alone. So we'll put it into espionage, increase our espionage a little bit. We have 22 extra spies right now. We have 113 abroad. So our espionage isn't too bad. It could be better. 113 isn't a lot of spies to have abroad. But it's it's better than nothing. Who can who can invite Italy to join our faction, which is extremely good. So let's just scroll down to Italy here. Uh, we're gonna invite them, and by inviting them we will have the invite the faction. There it is. There we go. Um, so we'll have the added benefit of the Iron Pact, which will increase... Uh, there it is right there. Pact of Steel, sorry, not Iron Pact. Supplies plus 5, research efficiency plus 5%. So that's going to help us out. Our supplies will be already a little bit better. Actually, before we go to that, let's just check our supply situation now. So now our supplies have gone down a little bit, which is good. Um, we're still not upgrading 100%, but 63%? Come on, that's pretty sweet. And it's not like we're spending a lot on upgrades right now. 457 a month is pretty good. Uh, okay, tactical air command structure. So, what am I doing? Tactical command structure. For some reason I thought it said air command. Um, so get rid of that. And do I put it into delay doctrine, central planning, or mass assault? We're going to have a fair amount of infantry. So I think infantry, mass assault would be good. Um... A good complement to our army. I don't want to sink it too much into guerrilla warfare or anything like that. Having ambush, I like having ambush, uh, plus three percent, but it's not worth it really. Uh, People's army, 1938. We don't want that yet. So let's go. Yeah, let's go mass assault, 1938, 1918. Um, it'll increase the morale of our infantry. We we'll get assault plus three percent, reckless assault plus one percent. Always good to have that option to have a reckless assault sometimes. Maybe not always, but sometimes it helps. So let's upgrade that. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what Italy's up to. Oh, can't send our deals. Militia tank weapons advance. 
So many upgrades finishing. Uh, let's just get rid of that one too. We'll put more into espionage. Will she end tank weapons advance? Okay. And continue. How much? Oh, something just finished. Okay. Uh, so up to plus 33, so I can go back to trading for energy. I'll trade that for you, sure. Um, okay, so we finished our. Alright, we'll put this guy here in Star Brooklyn. Attached to that one in Perma Sons. Yeah, he was alright. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, okay. Put him there. That'll give us a little bit of fighter wing on the west, just in case. And over here, we don't need another interceptor. So our main interceptor force on Berlin is not quite as effective as our western front, but that's okay. The Polish don't really have an air force to contend us with, and the Czechoslovakians, I don't think they even have an air force. They might have a bomber somewhere. But it's nothing to worry about, really. I think our two fighters can take care of it. Uh, so I'm building another interceptor, and do I want to build another reserve division? I think I do. Okay, let me check. Hold on a second. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need ten more. No, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we need eight more. We're building two more right now, so I will build another division. We want to have two in every province, remember? So we're going to build two more of these, put an artillery on it this time. Just one is fine. Um, yeah, I'll go up a little bit. Our upgrades are going to go down, that's fine. We're at 25%, no big deal. No big deal. Okay. Uh, no fuel, no fuel. Chemical engineering research and rocket science research finishes. So rocket science is important to have, I find. Uh, the theory, if you get one theory, if you're playing in Germany and you get one theory, make it rocket science research, just because it makes it a little bit quicker to get the rocket artillery, which I find really helpful for uh, putting with our cavalry, which I like to have a couple of. And also... Um, I, I just like rocket artillery. I think it fits the piece well, the, the period well, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to let that continue there. Uh, rocket artillery, rocket science research, sorry. And then eventually we're going to get rocket artillery. 939 will match it to a couple cavalry units we have. There's a cavalry unit actually that we have. Um, I'll show you up here. We have one so far. It's only got two regiments of cavalry. But Cavalry Commando Insterberg is up there, so we might get a second SS Cavalry unit and we'll put it uh, probably down in here when we go to invade Poland. It won't be there for the invasion of Czechoslovakia, but it will be there for the invasion of Poland. So Union Fuel Research, uh, Square Punk finishes. Okay, so Square Punk is good to have. Glad we got that one. I'm going to actually, it's August, um, okay, because Square Punk is a 10, it takes forever to upgrade it to uh, research so I'm just gonna leave it there it's kind of I haven't done the math so I don't know if it's a research if it's a waste to research it this way but I like to just leave it there for now and uh, I'll put Blitzkrieg on too actually 1938 so um, I think it'll give us a little bit of a boost and we'll get it a little bit earlier than if we were to wait until January to start the research for Square Punk for Bullets Creek. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start research on both those and hopefully it pans out for us. Militia Small Arms Advanced. So our, our militia now is up uh, pretty good. They've got uh, equal tech to our regular infantry, which is good. Militia is obviously a little bit less effective than Small Arms, you can tell there, there's by the plus 1.8. The plus 1.2 so they're less effective than the regular infantry but uh, having their tech upgraded as high as it is I think makes a difference it makes them more effective so even though they're less effective than the regular infantry they still have a better efficiency than if they're not upgraded at all which since we need them to guard our western front we need them to be a little bit efficient so I took that off uh, don't need fuel don't need fuel 
Our money is just crazy. Usually I keep it around 600. But I don't know what I did to make it so high this time. I guess I'm doing a lot of trades. There's a the reserve division. Um, we'll put him. Let's put him in. Landau, I think that is. And. Carlsruhe, is that where I want him to go? Yeah, Carlsruhe. Okay, so uh, let's build another division. Um, artillery, this time we're going to get rid of artillery. Put anti aircraft back on. 170 uh, production, that's a little bit more than I want. But it's. Uh, it's what are you going to do? So upgrades went up a little bit there when we finished our upgrades for small arms for, for militia. But still 10 is fine. It's not a very big deal at all. There's our other garrison unit. So we're going to plop him over here. Attach him to the nearest landwear core. So this one is all maxed out at 5. Um, okay. So in the future, I'm going to set up... Oh man, I messed, I'm going to have to reorganize this whole thing, but that's okay. That's a problem for future me. Not a problem for right now. So let's just build another garrison. Uh, this time with artillery. And let's continue. 30%, okay. Alright. Um, so we're up to September right now. Our supplies are holding pretty well. Uh, fuel, 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 fuel. In fact, all of our resources are doing pretty well. Our metal is going up steadily. Rare materials could be higher. I'd like to have it at 60,000 before we start any war, but, you know, 53, I'm not going to complain about it. But we've gone up a lot of metals, which is good in a uh, year and a half. Almost two years. Um, our energy is still plus six. We need to stop trading for energy, so I'm just going to stop trading for now. But everything is happy, so I'll just leave these alone. I don't need to touch them. They can just run it automatically. Battlecruiser anti-aircraft armament uh, finishes. So let's do, let's research capital or battleship anti-aircraft armament. Might as well. Got nothing else to do. Um, actually, you know what? We don't have any battleships, so let's upgrade heavy cruiser anti-aircraft because we do have some heavy cruisers. Our heavy cruisers will benefit more from that than not having anything. Just get rid of these because they're annoying me. I say I won't touch them, and then I do. What are you going to do about it? Okay, we lose that trade. Marine infantry. All oh, right, sweet. So marine infantry is finished. Let's um, let's do desert warfare equipment. Yeah, we'll work on desert warfare equipment um, until. Oh, it's 1938. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it was earlier than that. All right, so let's just uh, go 16 for research right now. Um, we have 44 extra spies, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little bit more robust intelligence system. So let's put a spy in Denmark, Bulgaria, let's put two in Austria. We should have had some in Austria a long time ago. Support, not really in party, sorry. Support our party. Uh, Ireland will put one in there. Support our party. Hungary, put two in there. Support our party. Greece, just put one in. Uh, Lithuania. Nationalist Spain, let's put two in Nationalist Spain and support our party. Now this should take away some of our extra spies immediately from our free spy quota, but uh, we're still generating spies, so hopefully it fills up a little more. And this will also increase our active spies abroad and uh, make us seem more active. Let's go USA. Tech espionage, still haven't sold anything from them, really. Okay, let's stop tech espionage and let's just go... Um, what do I want to go? Not increased threat, doesn't really affect us. Counter espionage, maybe I'll put one in counter espionage and. Hmm. Well, let's just do es military espionage. Okay, so that's what we're going to leave it as for now. Japan, we're going to leave it on tech espionage and maybe we get lucky. Um, okay, so that's good. Persia. Um, all right, let's go. Turkey. 
Guatemala, Argentina, Bulgaria. Everyone wants a piece of me. No one can have it. It's a damn shame. I'm really surprised that our our officer percentage is as high as it is. Usually it drops about 130 for me. This is confusing. Find our ground control advance. Okay, so we're going to leave that on there again. Um, that should finish. When is that going to finish? June. So that's good. Um, as you can see, where is it? Does it not show up? Oh, fighter focus. No. No. Hmm. Oh, it's down here at Doctrines. So fighter focus is what I want to see. Fighter focus. I was right there. So that's up to 2.5. So it's really low still. Which is why it's taking so long, but uh, once it finishes this, it'll go up by plus one, which is good. As you can see, it increases fighter focus by plus one. It's impacted by our air combat experience and our fighter focus. So 50% or 70%, sorry, um, of this technology is dependent on our air combat experience, which means since we haven't fought any air wars or any air battles, they are. Um, it takes a lot longer to research air attacks just because we don't have the experience that you get when you fight them if that makes any sense which I think makes perfect sense but I'm not explaining it very well so a pox on me see if we can run through October without any more events now oh, there's an event and there's another event uh, plus 8 IC alright that's cool plus 8% that's pretty nice government nationalizes the private sector take that deal um, so that's gonna we're gonna put that we're not gonna put that into production or consumer goods we're just gonna put it into um, our supplies which we're gonna get a bit of a boon from here might even put it into upgrades just just you know just to increase the upgrades a little bit uh, so aeronautic engineering electronic engineering and artillery research advance so our theory stuff is coming along nicely let's take off artillery research so right now there's not a lot I can do until 1938 that's when I can start building, or not building, but researching these industrial proficiency and, uh, sorry, efficiency and production. That's what I want to get to. Uh, so when 1938 hits, I'm going to spend some of this extra espionage research, or technology points, leadership, sorry, and put them into industrial production and efficiency. Until then, though, I'm just going to keep building up my spy network. As you can see, it dropped to zero. So all of our free spies have gone to other countries right now. But hopefully that builds up again a little bit because we're generating what 1.78 spies per day, so hopefully um, our free spies we get a little bit more of a uh, a backlog there again. Okay, so what was I doing? <laughs> I've completely confused myself. Uh, theory, uh, I took that off. Research, uh, aeronautic engineering research, take that off, and electronic engineering research, take that off. Let's put one to nuclear physics. No, I don't want to do nuclear physics. All right. So we're at 13 research and 13.88 uh, espionage, which means we're getting two spies a day. A little more than two spies a day. And we can invite Japan. Okay, so we can invite Japan. And I just got a message from my brother. That's fine. We'll ignore it for now. Uh, invite Japan, very likely. Alright, cool. So Japan's going to join us now. They are a part of our faction. We shall crush the Bolsheviks. That's nice. It's always nice. Love crushing Bolsheviks. Okay. Uh, we got three more garrisons. Oh, yeah, these are all messed up. I don't know what I was thinking. So let's... How am I going to do this? Okay, let's put... For now, let's move this garrison down here, and we'll move this garrison here. HQ can go there. So we'll put one there. Okay, we'll put two there. And get rid of those. Um. I gotta no, no, I gotta select them individually and do it. Okay. There we go. Select and we'll put you in Carl's room and Carl's room. Okay. I all right. There we go. So that's our garrisons, and then we have five over here. So we are going to take this one 
and you're at five two, right? All right. Uh, so let's drop this guy over here, and we will detach you and make a new core. Thirty lead work core. Will be west, and we will attach this guy. Okay, now the infantry. Uh, so we'll put the infantry around. We're just gonna try and keep circling off Czechoslovakia. So we'll put them over here. Form a new core. Hoth. Uh, I don't want Hoth on there. Give them engineer. They're gonna have to cross the river. So give them Becker. And we will attach first core and first core there is. I don't mind if the infantry divisions themselves have decent leaders. Like a three is okay. It's not a big deal. Nothing to write home about, but it's okay. Uh, I don't mind if they have it, but I want the core leaders to not be quite as strong on infantry. I want to save that for the panzer units and the more elite infantry, like mountain infantry and marines. All right, now we got to build everything. Uh, let's build another interceptor instead of more garrisons. And we're going to build infantry again. We'll just build reserves. Uh, three infantry. And we can build, I guess, one. Maybe two. We'll build anti aircraft. So we can build, yeah, there we go. Two more infantry. Sweet. Very sweet. That worked out quite well. And we got a plan out of it. Uh, let's just drop supplies down. Okay. Everything looks good. Our stuck guard is almost done. It's going to be done November 10th. Uh, was that a heavy? I think that is a light cruiser. Pretty sure that's a light cruiser. Really bad at naval signal insignia. Alright, so as you can see, we are slowly bordering Czechoslovakia. Everything is going quite well. We are in the negatives now for energy. That's okay, I don't mind that. We're going to get it all back later. Uh, Panzer Division finishes. There we go. Is that a, that's a, that is a medium Panzer Division, too. Medium armor. Let's just get rid of these trades first. Fuel and fuel. Okay. So, our medium armor, we are going to set up down here. Okay. Put this one down here. We will attach it over to... Straubing, Straubing, sorry. Now here's where I want a more high skilled commander. Okay, I just want a commander with. Really, no one has a battle master who is not a level two or a rank two. Okay, Hannik, it is then. He stays. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. So Hannik is going to be our commander for the Panzer 10 Panzer Division. And we're going to leave him there attached to this. Eventually I'm going to separate my Panzer Divisions from Infantry Divisions and form just Panzer Corps. But until then, uh, we're going to keep them attached to Infantry just to cut down on supply issues. So let's uh, go Panzer 1941 again. I build just one, not as reserve. There we go. Keep the Panzers going strong. Uh, Alright, June 29th. Man, that's going to take forever to finish. That's a long time. Might have to start building more Panzer Divisions. I've got, right now, I think, five Panzer Divisions of light in, light Panzer, light armor. God, that's oh, so difficult. And then a uh, one medium armor, one medium Panzer. Okay. Nationalizes the private sector again. Another eight percent IC. All right, that works out. Not gonna complain about that. Oh, we got this guy. The Stuttgart is done. So we'll put the Stuttgart over here with the Schlagfoot. Yeah, it's a light cruiser. That's what I thought. You know, I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Canada wants fuel. No deal. 
not much to do. We just wait. November's almost over. Uh, we're almost done this episode. Once it hits uh, December 31st or January 1st, I'll end it. Crude oil is no go. Come on, guys. Leave it alone. No more fuel. I wish there was a way I could set up what I wanted and what I didn't want. Okay. So we have some more garrisons that are finishing. Um, put these garrisons down here. These ones are all set up here. Okay, so I'm going to take a new core. Detach, make a new core. I will attach the second core and the second core. And I'll attach you to be west. Alright, so we're setting up our army here. Uh, let's move you up here to, I think that's Dusseldorf. Oh, Kong. Dusseldorf is right there. That's right. And I'll move you as well over to Dusseldorf. You can come up here over to Munster. And we'll move you just a little bit. No, I'll leave you where you are. Just going to try and move my guys up north a little bit. Uh, production. Build some more. Infantry or... No, let's go motorized. Need to get some motorized units coming. Uh, so let's go motorized. Reserve. And we'll throw on a motorized AA for a little bit of extra punch. Mm, I'm thinking about it, and I don't like it. So let's not do that yet. No motorized yet. We can we can hold off on motorized units. Um, in fact, do I want to even build anything else? Do I want to save it for building that aircraft carrier? How many? Okay, I got two garrisons that are being built right now. I think I need three more, so I'm just going to cut back on production for now. No big deal. Um, actually, let's put that. There we go. So we're going to produce a lot of extra supplies, but that's okay. We need supplies. We need a lot of supplies for war. Um, Belgium would like money for fuel? No. So we're going to be producing supplies, going to try and keep that up. Large fun events. Sweet. Uh, do we keep it on or do we take it off? Large front advance. Give militia a little bit more morale. But I think I'm going to take it off. And the reason is um, I need to not only upgrade these here, mobile warfare upper operational level command structure and elastic defense, but I'm also going to need to do some industry things. So I need to be sparing with my research points right now, my leadership. So let's just take that off large front. We don't need it. It's going to help us our militia out a little bit, sure, but it's not something that we definitely need. Chemical engineering research, that's theory stuff. What else finished? Uh, rocket science research? Ah, perfect. So let's... Um, uh, let's just drop down to 10 for now. Oh, no, this is what we can do right here. We can get some of these done. Uh, commander decision making, we're going to take that one. And I want to take carrier crew training. There we go. Okay. Almost done. Just trying to wrap it up here. Oh, let's pause. Uh, we're losing some trade for energy, but that's okay. That'll bring us back into the positives. We're up to 48, actually, so I might uh, trade away some more energy soon. So I'll put our another strategic bomber there. Our close air support we want to put in... This is a 10, right? Yeah, so we can have 10 units in this air base. So I'll put him there, and I'll start to amass a close air support unit around him. So I'll try and get three close air support, I think. Uh, another close air support, and another strategic bomber. Yeah, so as you can see, things get a little bit cheaper once you start building. Uh, we got a lot, actually, a lot of stuff in... supplies. So let's build another interceptor as well. Okay, looks good to me. It's very good to me. And all these trades, which mean nothing. Oh, there's nothing else finished. So close to being done. So close. Uh, 
two there, two there, two there, two there, one there. Okay, so we'll put this guy over here. Oops, let's pass him. We'll just attach him to the landwear core. And this guy can go in Berlin and the flicker core. Alright, uh, interceptor, division. Well, we just build garrison, so I'm gonna build another garrison then. Garrison, garrison, and artillery. Okay, so everything looks good. And annex Shang, Shangzi, Shanghai. I don't know. So that's interesting. And January. Okay, we're January now. So I'm gonna stop. I'll just build this uh, tactical bomber. Put him in Munchen, and we'll start another tactical bomber. All right. And that is gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please come back next time. I appreciate you guys being here. So have a great day. That sounds weird, but I don't know how else to end it. So. Thanks for watching and take care.